If you've been working with crystals for some time, you've probably had one or two of them crack or break on you. And if you didn't crack or break it in the obvious way, you dropped it, then what caused it to crack or break? And what do you do with it once it's broken? In this video, I'm going to explain some of the things that can cause a crystal to crack or break and explain what you should be doing with it once it's broken. Hello, I'm Wendy Rapp, spiritual life coach and psychic tarot reader. On this channel, I help you as a spiritually awakened person grow and evolve on your soul's journey. And if you enjoy material like this, hit the subscribe button because I upload a new video every Sunday. So what can cause a crystal to break? Well, aside from the obvious reason, dropping it, like I did with these two, there are a number of reasons that a crystal can break. Some crystals are more friable. They have a weaker structure, and you need to handle those particular crystals with extra care. A crystal can also break if it goes through any kind of temperature extremes, going from hot to cold, cold to hot. So be really careful about where you store them and where you use them. Also, a crystal can just break with no explanation. It could be the frequencies in the environment or your own energy while you're using it. And if a crystal breaks while you're using it or just after you've used it, it's a sign that that crystal has taken the brunt of the issues and the energies you were working with and it's now ready to release them. A side note, um, while you're working with a crystal, if there's a particular issue that you're working on, it's always good each time you work with it to sage it, uh, to clear the crystal, to clear the energy so that any buildup of negative energies are released from the crystal. And if a crystal breaks while you're using it or just after you've used it, it can be a sign that a shift or a change has manifested in your life. And if you're unsure about, well, was there really a change? Was there really some shift in my energies? then ask yourself these questions. What was happening in your life at the time you began working with the crystal? And where do you stand now? Have you worked through most or all of the issues that you were using that crystal to help you with? And what about the people in your life? Do you still have the same people around you or have you now formed new groups and new friends of people in your life? The answers to those questions will help you see how much change and progress you've made. So if you can see that you've made changes and there has been a shift in your life, then offer thanks to the crystal for its working with you and for it being of service to you. And by the way, you should really thank your crystals, whether they break or not, anytime you work with them. That's something I normally do, um, but always give gratitude and thanks to the crystal for the energy that it's helping you work through. So then what should you do with the crystal once it's broken? Well, just because crystal broke doesn't mean that it no longer retains its energy. It just means it's done working with you on that particular issue. So what you need to do though, is to let that crystal recharge and refresh itself. And the way you do that, well, there's a couple of ways you can do that. Some people like to take it outdoors, and I do think it's a good idea to bury it in Mother Gaia, bury it in the earth for 30 days before, oh, by the way, before you do, sage the crystal, give thanks to the crystal for it working with you, saging helps to clear any negativity, and then let it have a rest. And if you bury it, if you're lucky enough to have a yard and you can bury it in the yard where you know nobody's going to bother it for 30 days and you can easily retrieve it later on, then by all means, bury it in the yard. Give it 30 days, and then by the time you dig it up, you'll notice that the, the energy feels good again, it feels recharged and ready to start working again, just not on the same issue with you. If you don't have a yard, like I live in an apartment, I don't have a yard where I feel like it's safely bury a crystal and it would be undisturbed. So what I do is I put it on the windowsill, and I let it get 30 days of the moon and sunlight, the whole 30-day cycle and that does recharge and rejuvenate the energy of the crystal. Now once you have the crystal rejuvenated and recharged, if you personally no longer want to work with it, remember it still has the energies so you can gift those pieces to uh, friends you know who may be able to benefit from the energies of the crystal. Whatever you do, I beg you, please don't throw it in the garbage. That's the last thing you want to do. Don't, don't 
throw it away. If you don't want to gift it to someone and you don't want to uh, use it yourself, then what I would suggest you do, there's a number of things you can do. I, if I break a crystal into small pieces, like the, it really kind of breaks up small or small chips come off my crystals, I have jars and jars of crystals. I'm a crystal holic, and I will put the pieces in the jar of um, corresponding energies, crystals with corresponding energies, and I just let those energies stay in the jar. If the, if the pieces are too small to work with, I don't throw them in the garbage. I do throw them in my crystal jars. That's just what I do. Um, but you can also take the crystal, if you're not going to gift it and you're not going to use it, return it to Mother Gaia and not in the garbage dump. Return it to the earth. So either take it somewhere, go for a walk in the woods or something, and you can leave it at the base of a tree. You can dig it, dig a little hole and put the crystal pieces in that hole if you want. If you don't live near the woods, if there's a pond, a lake, or you live near the ocean, you can throw the you can throw the crystal into those bodies of water. That's acceptable. Um, so you do have options, but whatever you do, please don't throw it in the garbage, please. I like to take if it's a crystal that I know I'm not going to work with anymore. I like to take it with me into the woods. Now I take small crystals with me every time I go for a walk in the woods. I'm just kind of weird that way because I like to give a little offering of thanks to the elementals. And yes, they do exist. And I will place these crystals, I'll go off the path, and I will place the crystal behind a tree, under a bush, and it's just to give thanks to the elementals for taking such wonderful care of the forest and the woods for us, for allowing me to share their home with them, and just as a gift and an offering of thanks. And I will use the broken crystal sometimes to do that as well. So. Anytime you return a crystal to the earth, that's fully acceptable. And by the way, I have had some amazingly magical experiences um, on some of my walks in the woods, and I'm sure it has everything to do with the fact that I show gratitude to the elementals when I'm um, out taking a walk in the woods. One of these days I'll do a video on that too. I hope that information was helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below because I do see them. And if you'd like to get a reading with me, you can call the number that's on the screen. I give readings both in person at Earth Spirit or over the phone. And the number's right there. Just call Earth Spirit. They'll uh, schedule an appointment for you to have a reading with me. And if you'd like to connect with me on social media, the links are both below in the description box. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, you are a spark of the divine. Share your light with the world. Blessings.